Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick review slash wear and tear video on my Adele wallet. If you've checked out my previous videos, you will know um, that I was using this wallet and I kind of had mixed reviews on it. So I figured this is a good way to help anyone who may be interested in purchasing the Adele full size wallet. Um, it is in the monogram print, which I loved the color combination. It was one of the first ones to come out um, with the fuchsia in my, I think the first one to come out with the fuchsia interior, which I thought was so pretty. And it also was such a great price range. It was kind of the first full-size wallet um, that's been on my radar that has been in the $500 range. So I was really kind of excited about that and I got it when it first came out. So it came out in August. I've now had it and been using it as my everyday wallet since August. So um, I also do have to say I take very good care of my items. So the wear and tear may not be what a typical um, everyday wallet wear and tear is, but overall the wear and tear on it I've been really pleased with. There actually is no peeling or chipping on the glaze. Um, there's a little, little tiny scuff here up on the top. I don't know if you can really see that, but other than that, overall the glazing, the canvas has held up really, really nicely. Um, the pull tabs still look great. There's not really any bending in them. I do usually when I put it in my wallet, I kind of try to put them on the top. I'm sorry, when I put it in my purse, but overall, I'm not super careful with making sure they're laying down or anything. I just kind of stick it in. So, um, that overall wear and tear on it is fabulous for nine months. One thing that I have to say in my biggest concern slash um, problem that I have with it is it is when you open and I actually just filled it with gift cards pretty much so I could do this review without having to worry. But as you can see, kind of this card slot, these card slots do kind of um, stretch. But honestly, even when I first got it, I felt like they were kind of a little bit loose. So my cards do tend to kind of fall out a little bit and I do not overstuff it. I only ever keep one card in each slot. So that part was my first complaint on it. I think that the structure is a little odd. You always, in my opinion, I would always put my wallet in my purse standing upright. So when it's standing upright, that is forcing the cards to kind of fall down automatically. So I do think that the structure, in my opinion, if the cards went up, it would be a little bit easier, I think. Um, as far as the button closures and the magnets and the hot stamp, everything looks perfect. I don't have a problem at all with the magnet. Every once in a while I'll do like kind of as you just saw a little moving around just to get that snap in the right place. But overall that's great. The zippers still work beautifully, which um, I was pleased with, you know, that. I don't use the zipper pouches all that much because I tend to use my cards. But just going back to the layout, when I pull out my purse, I want it to be as convenient and easy to get into as possible. And this is kind of a little bit, you pull it out, go in and then pull out whatever card I'm using and then just slide it back in. Pretty simple, but um, you know, there still are a few things that I wasn't too pleased with as far as the layout. That was the main thing, the slots that kind of face downwards. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen reviews. You know that this is all one piece of canvas. It is two separate pouches. It is not one continual pouch. Um, so, let me just show you kind of how I use my wallet. So in one pouch, I actually keep cash. And um, what I do, because I wasn't really sure how it would wear on this pretty fuchsia, and I do love the color. The fuchsia is so pretty. So I actually went just to Michael's and I bought um, just the photo sleeves for doing photo albums and in them it's actually a perfect size um, so I have these plastic sleeves that I just cut this one I just cut one side off of and I think I just had to trim the top just a little bit and that fits right inside my pocket and it fits perfectly and then I always when I 
put in my cash or what's in my other pocket. I don't have to worry about all that grime or icky dirt on my pretty interior. So that's kind of my way of keeping the wallet in as best of condition as I can. Now I tried using a coin purse and I thought it just made no sense to me. I hated having to pull out two separate items when I was paying with cash. I'd have to pull out my wallet and I'd have to pull out a change purse. So I decided to do the same thing with the coins. I usually don't carry more than this amount of coins in here. Um, otherwise I just feel like it gets too heavy, but I actually don't really feel like it's stretched out this pocket at all. Um, there's maybe a little tiny bit, but it's no different than on the other side. So as far as that goes, you know, I'm sure if I overstepped it with coins, then possibly it would stretch out. But right now I really haven't noticed any difference from a brand new one. And again, because of the lining, I don't have to worry about that ickiness inside. So one um, thing that to me, if I am paying with cash, I pretty much have to open both pouches and pull one out and then do the, the change. So just the layout for me just doesn't work but it is great um your phone actually can fit right in there this is the 6s and if I let's just take out the coins if I wanted to that actually slides right in there and there's actually still plenty of room so I do like that that if I did carry it as a clutch I could put my phone in there it does stretch it out a little bit I wouldn't keep it there for ever, but um, just for a night out, I think you would be okay. And on the inside, these pouches are my other issue that I have. I try to put my, um, what is in there? Oh, I still have the tag. I try to put receipts in here and it just seemed like my receipts are pretty bulky and it just seems like it it didn't really work between by the time I folded them and stuck them in. I just was worried about stretching and they were kind of hard to get in and out of. So these back pockets, I just feel like unless you're putting something you don't use very often, they're not that practical to get in and out of, in my opinion. So um, again, I did the same thing. I have a few checks in there. Um, and I also have my business cards. I have a few of those and I also did the same thing with the sleeves and I do keep those behind here. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have in my wallet. Like I said, it's not a terrible wallet. It just seems to be a little bit less functional in my opinion for my style. I do want an everyday wallet that I can just pull out, easy access. I can get to my cards really easily and I can get to the cash and um, the change easily. And this one just seemed to not quite work that way. I still have not decided 100% if I'm going to sell this one. Um, if anyone is interested, of course, link it in the comments. And if I do decide to sell, I definitely would let you know. Uh, I did just purchase the Sarah wallet in the Omprot leather. So I'm really looking forward to switching all my stuff into that and using that. I also have been using a lot of times my key pouches as mini wallets because I have been carrying a smaller bag lately. And so, oops, sorry. So I just am, you know, for me, it's just not necessarily the most um, functional in my opinion. And let me just grab my Sarah wallet just so you can have an idea of the comparison as far as the size goes. So let's see. I still have it in the bag because I'm still not... 100% sure. I just want to make sure that I like the Omprant leather, which I love and everything else. But um, in this wallet, I just feel like the simplicity of just opening the pouch, I can get to my cards really easily. And it has room for my um, bills and my change right in there. And all my cards will fit and my receipts will fit in there. So I'm actually I feel like this is a great wallet for me. I originally wanted to get the full size zippy, but I kind of feel like I would get sick of this motion all the time. So I did end up getting this, but let me just show you a quick comparison just between the Sarah. It is quite a bit 
of a difference this way. And that was one thing that I noticed when I carry my Speedy. It tends to slip in there pretty easily, especially my Empreinte Speedy because that does have the extra sides. Um, the zip kind of comes all the way around the sides. But if I'm carrying my Bloomy, it's definitely too long for that. Um, I can fit it in, but then it's I'm limited to the other things that I fit in. So for me, it's just, it's not necessarily my favorite wallet, which is why I got this Sarah. And I'm hoping that this Sarah will be my new favorite, but um, I do like it and I do think that it actually has a lot of great qualities and I do think that for a lot of people it is a perfect wallet. It's a perfect price point and it's a great starter wallet. Um, for just somebody somebody who only needs, you know, the basics and doesn't necessarily, if they're just using cards or they're just using, you know, just to have a wallet, I definitely would recommend it for many different reasons. But like I said, just not practical in my life. It's not my favorite. Um, it does have 12 card slots. I like that part of it. And, um, yeah, so if you guys want to see any additional reviews or if you have any comments, by all means, let me know and I would be happy to help out in any way I can. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe, like my video, and also check me out on Instagram. Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye.